What's up everyone, General Discharge here. If this is your first time with us, our voices are disguised so we can give you information on just about anything without being detected. All you space cadets out there can rejoice, because today's video is going to be discussing the officer positions that exist in the United States Space Force. There's five of them, so make sure to watch the whole video to find out how you can find yourself in a leadership position in the United States military's newest branch. They're pretty interesting. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. Yes, the Space Force is a real thing. And no, we're not talking about the show on Netflix with Steve Carell. If you're not familiar with what the Space Force does, when it was created, or what its future is, we discuss all of that in another video of ours about the Space Force. You definitely need to go give it a look if you haven't already. Links in the description. Okay, as we mentioned in the beginning of the video, at the time we make this, there are five official positions that are available for officers in the Space Force. After we list them, we will break down what each position does, as well as their qualifications. The five careers are Space Operations Officer, Cyberspace Operations Officer, Acquisition Manager, Developmental Engineer, and Intelligence Officer. Let's break them down one by one. Let's kick it off with Space Operations Officers. Space Operations Officers direct the entire system utilizing satellites that enhance communication and tracking. They oversee space surveillance, space lift, space warning, and satellite command and control. By assessing the effectiveness of all space operations and incorporating new technology as it becomes available, they develop future plans for systems, facilities, and personnel in order to defend our nation. They are also involved in launching and recovering spacecraft. So what they do is pretty much in their name, space operations. Their tasks include formulating space operations policies, establishing training requirements and performance standards for all systems, coordinating space operations activities, planning, organizing, and directing space operations programs, and providing guidance on proper use and care of sensitive materials. Like any officer in the military, you'll need a bachelor's degree to apply, but not any degree will cut it for space operations officers. For this career, you'll need a bachelor's or master's degree in a science, technology, engineering, or math discipline. Here's a list of their qualifications, taken from the official Air Force website. The Space Force still utilizes is the Air Force's recruiting website. Expect that to change. Let's move on to the next career, Cyberspace Operations Officers. Cyberspace Operations Officers are responsible for a wide range of weaponry, training, and intelligence efficiencies, and are experts on cyberspace, obviously, because it's their job. From computerized, satellite, and airborne communications to postal operations and tracking systems, these irreplaceable assets play a critical role in planning missions and ensuring the effectiveness of our cyberspace capabilities. Some of their tasks include reviewing mission tasking, intelligence, terrain, and weather information, operating weapon systems and command crew, conducting or supervising training to ensure operational readiness of crew members, advising commanders on associated risks and mitigation factors in conjunction with utilized technologies, and directing employment of cyberspace capabilities in both deliberate and crisis action scenarios. The bachelor's degree required for this career field must have a focus in computer and information sciences, engineering, mathematics, computer science, management information systems, or other related disciplines. No underwater basket weaving for them. Here's a picture of their qualifications. Next are acquisition managers. These guys are the supply chain managers for the Space Force. They oversee all aspects of the supply chain process to ensure the necessary equipment and supplies get where they need to be anywhere in the world and develop these structures and train their personnel to make it all happen. Their tasks include ensuring quality assurance and support for all systems and equipment, managing and administering defense acquisition programs, planning and developing program management techniques and training programs, and coordinating with commanders and staff to develop proper acquisition plans and schedules. Unlike their other Space Force officer counterparts, all you need to qualify for this position is any sort of bachelor's degree. There's no specialties or areas of study that they are looking for. Here's a picture of their qualifications. This next one is pretty cool, developmental engineers. Developmental engineers provide advanced skill and knowledge of their particular specialties, ranging from aeronautical and computer systems to flight test and mechanical. Their tasks include 
planning, organizing, and implementing systems engineering processes, conducting design studies and managing studies contracted to industries, coordinating engineering and technical management activities, continuously analyzing technical policies and procedures, products, and services to improve customer support, and identifying and incorporating new technologies and subsystems. Responsible for everything from the planning to implementation of their projects, developmental engineers are essential to the success of operations all over the world. The degree you will need to join this community is a bachelor's degree in engineering related to one of the following specialties. Aerospace, aeronautical, astronautical, computer, electrical, electronics, communication, or mechanical. Here's a picture of their qualifications. Okay, last but not least, intelligence officers. Intelligence officers are responsible for both protecting our information as well as collecting data from external threats and are essential to operational planning and ultimate success. From analyzing data to coordinating with other services or determining the capabilities and vulnerabilities of an adversary, these officers provide indispensable knowledge pivotal to the Space Force in order for it to successfully complete its missions. Their tasks include leading and performing intelligence activities across the full range of military operations, overseeing the analysis and merging of collected intelligence, developing intelligence plans and policies, producing accurate intelligence analysis, exchanging intelligence with other services, agencies, and governments, and integrating intelligence with combat operations. The degree that the Space Force wants you to have for this career field is a bachelor's degree in one of the following. Science, Humanities, Social Sciences, Structured Analysis, Engineering, or Mathematics. And they would like some level of foreign language study. Here is a picture of their qualifications. And that covers the five career fields for Space Force officers. But don't go just yet. We still have a bit left to talk about. Remember, the Space Force is very new. There may be more career opportunities as the branch develops, so don't think that these may be the only opportunities that exist for you. There are 12 enlisted career fields that are available in the Space Force, so if you want to see us make a video on them, please let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Lastly, if you still haven't seen our video on the overview of the Space Force, you definitely need to go check it out. We talk about its creation, purpose, and their future plans of operation. The link for it is in the description. Well, that is the down and dirty of the U.S. Space Force's officer career fields. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. What would you like to see next? All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.